Alex here, back in the shed. I have to apologize for the lack of enthusiasm tonight. I am just exhausted. Uh, totally, totally exhausted. But I want to share some updates. I tried salvaging the one of the uh, plates that I made, but it wasn't going to work. Um, it's too small. So I ended up grabbing some coil stock from my work truck and um, I bent up the bracket that I ideally wanted. Now that I have this pattern, I know that it fits. It works in the, uh, the original holes that I drilled. Um, so I ended up going out tonight looking for 16th inch uh, aluminum sheathing and I can't find it. So I just ordered some from my supplier online and hopefully it's here in four days like they said it is. Otherwise, we're gonna stick with the acrylic. But I was so damn determined to bend it up. Um, that's my problem. My problem is, is I obsess over things until I, until I do it. So my mind was determined. This is what I wanted. So I obsess over it, lose sleep, and uh, eventually end up doing it because I don't know when to say stop. Anyway, I was up this morning at 3:30, and I started working in the shed at 4 a.m. Uh, and I got some work done on the gun, but no disrespect, I honestly don't feel like setting up cameras and lighting and all that stuff at 4 a.m. So um, I'm going to bring the gun over here and update you on how far I've gotten and what we're going to finish tonight. So I got the gun here. Quick update, I modified the pop mac, got that working 100%. We got the grips fitted. Uh, these are screwed in. Uh, I have to actually get one more screw because I cut this one too short. I mean, it works. But uh, it's too short for my liking, so I have to go to the hardware store tomorrow and, and get another one. There's only one hardware store in my town that carries these smaller bolts. Everybody else doesn't carry anything less than 832, if they carry 832. So I have to fly to the hardware store on the bridge and, and get some more 632s. I got the back grip in orientation and mounted. There's some great reference on um, GB Fans websites and the Ghostbusters reference library. Um, and thankfully they have a tape measure laid across this thing so you can dial it in exactly. When you dial in the measurement it may look wrong until you start looking at the other reference and you realize everything matches perfectly. So I'm wicked happy with the, the back grip. Uh, Matt was the one who told me that the back grip is riveted on. I always thought it was um, like cap bolts that they used um, but he says those are rivets. I'm going to drill these tonight, but I'm not going to rivet them because I want to paint them separately. So um, I got this taped on here so we can drill small pilot holes, center punch them, and then drill our real holes. And this back one's countersunk a little bit, so we're going to have to do that too. You can see I got the rivets taped on. I also marked for where we're going to drill for the zip ties. Oh, I guess at the hardware store I'm supposed to get the zip ties. The zip ties I have have um, lines on them and it's supposed to be a smooth zip tie. But I marked for that and where the... Uh, the safety cable uh, loops into. The safety cable uh, goes down to the pack. The safety cable goes down to the pack and um, it's made so if it, the prop is dropped it doesn't rip the electronics out of the, the gun. When I purchased the bulbs I purchased the correct bulbs but they sent me three B's or two B's whatever they were. I needed one B's and I didn't really pick up on it. I, I mean I did pick up on it because like, wow, it's kind of, these are kind of stubby, but I figured that was just the way that they were made. And then when I realized, oh no, these aren't 1Bs, these are, I think they're 3Bs. So I have them coming to me and I'm just going to do the same exact thing all over again where I sand this off and fit it on here. So the main objective tonight is let's just fool around with this back grip and uh, mask off the motherboard.
I keep forgetting I have to drill for the speaker. So I'm gonna go into the basement, print out a speaker template. Alright, so that's another late night in the shed. Alright, so it doesn't seem like a lot got done, but realistically a lot got done. The whole entire gun is disassembled now and ready for paint. The shell and all its parts are ready for paint. The motherboard's ready. All I need is the time. I've had this kicking around in my head for a long time, so what my idea is is to set up two ladders in front of my sister's house, well in my sister's backyard, because it's right over there behind the shed, and run some two bys across to hang all these parts so I can paint them because there's a lot of parts to be painted um, and it's looking like good weather this week but the problem is my real job has really really crushed me um, like I today tonight I got home at seven o'clock and I had to run out to get another hard drive because I have another hard drive full and I had to pick up some more hardware and uh, I was on the hunt for 16th inch uh, aluminum sheets and I couldn't find them so um, it's, it's very difficult for me to get time to do this. I'm doing this at night and at two hours super early in the morning from 4, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. I'm working on this stuff. You can tell because it's still dark in here in the videos. Um, like I said, my main objective is I got to paint it this week. I already picked up the paint. Uh, I don't know where it is, but I picked it up today. That's here. I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh, and one more screw for the grip. So I got two orange hat lights from GB Fans on the way, and I got to pick up one more screw for the grip. And that's it. It's ready to go together for the last time. I don't know if I'm going to have this as a standalone video or if I'm going to incorporate this into the paint video. But um, if I do decide to make this a standalone video, if you haven't subscribed, if you could please consider subscribing, smashing that like button. It really goes a long way in supporting the channel. I want to thank you all for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. This is Hallowax, out.